Thanks for tuning into our SimVibe Unleashed video series, where we dig into all the great features packed into the Sim Commander software suite that is included with your SimVibe purchase. In this one, we're going to check out the heads up display and the ability to create infinite sets of on screen in game gauges and dashboard items for your favorite sim racing title. The heads up display can be especially useful if you are running a triple screen setup and your field of view causes you to lose visibility of your dashboard. You have the ability to create gauges like speedometers, tachometers, shift lights, temperature and fuel gauges, as well as a wide variety of telemetry data. So let's go over the basics on how to add a virtual tachometer and shift light to any car. First step, launch Sim Commander and then click on Control Center. Highlight a Sim Setup button and click the checkbox next to Enable In-Game On-Screen Display. Now launch the game from Sim Commander, and as it's launching, you'll see this message. Once the game is finished launching, you'll be able to enable the HUD by dragging the mouse to the bottom of the screen, and a red bar will appear like this. Click on it to open the HUD. First up, let's create a tachometer. Click Heads Up Display, and a new menu will appear. Click Edit HUD. Next, click Add HUD Item, and another menu will appear with options. Click Add Circular Gauge. Once you do, a default gauge will appear in the upper left. If you're using a triple screen setup, it will appear in the upper left corner of the left monitor. Now, close the HUD to edit the gauge. At this point, you may want to jump into the car to get an idea of placement and sizing. So now hover over the gauge and then click and hold to drag and move it to wherever you want. To resize it, hover over a corner and then click, hold and drag to the desired size. Now let's change the type of gauge from a speedometer to a tachometer. Click this arrow and it'll open up this interface. Next, we're going to select a style to load and change it to a tachometer by selecting Default Circular Gauge RPM. Now you will see that it's turned into a tachometer. Next up, let's add a shift light. Click the arrow to close the interface from the new tachometer you just created, and then click on the red bar at the bottom to bring up the HUD. Now click on Add LED. Once you do, a default red LED will appear in the upper left screen. Again, close the HUD to edit the gauge, now hover over the LED and click and hold to drag it and move it wherever you want. You can even place it on top of the tachometer if you want. To resize, hover over a corner and then click, hold and drag to the desired size. Now I'm gonna show you how to alter the shift light. Click on the arrow to open up the interface. Click on the advanced tab, then the light tab. From this tab, you can change the type, the opacity or the brightness of the on and off state, change the colors, radius, and more. If you'd like the shift light to be brighter when it turns on, use this on opacity slider. Once you are done editing the LED, click the arrow to close the interface. Once you have your gauges all set up, open the HUD and then click the back arrow in the upper left, then click on stop editing HUD. Close the HUD in the upper right and you're ready to race. You can bring that HUD up at any time to alter the placement or appearance of your gauges. You can even do it while you're on the track. So there's how to get started with adding virtual gauges and lights to any car in just about any sim racing title. Subscribe to our channel for future videos where we show you more on how to unleash your Sim Vibe and Sim Commander experience. We hope you enjoyed this one and thank you for watching.